Hello and welcome to this video where we're thinking about objects moving in vertical circles. Now you may have seen the demonstration where a bucket of water is whizzed around and miraculously the water stays in the bucket even when it's upside down. Let's think about the forces on the bucket at two points in that motion. Firstly, where the bucket is at its maximum vertical height and we're thinking about that point there where the uh, rope um, is attached to the bucket. Now the first force is the rope toward the centre of the circle, that's the tension in the rope. And the second force there, I'm going to draw it just to the side just so to make it a bit clearer, that force will be the weight of the bucket given by mg. So if I write an expression for those forces I have F equals mg plus t. Now they are both acting toward the centre of that circle so they are providing the centripetal force and we represent a centripetal force by the expression mv squared over r. Remember that is just a, um, a way of writing Newton's second law f equals ma for objects that are moving in circles. Now at the bottom of the swing at exactly the same position we'll notice something different. There's still the tension toward the centre but this time the weight is acting in the opposite direction. mg is going downward. Writing the same expression again I end up with F equals this time T minus mg and that's also equal to mv squared over r. It's T minus mg because we're taking the positive direction to be toward the centre of the circle. Rearranging that equation for T I end up with the expression T equals mv squared over r plus mg at the bottom of the circle and going back to the top I end it with the expression t equals mv squared over r minus mg. Now what does this tell us? Well it tells us that at the top of the circle there t is less than at the bottom of the circle and that tells us that if I were to be in the bucket at that point if I were to be the water then at that point at the top there I would feel lighter and at the bottom there I would feel heavier. Notice that they're feelings and you might be able to associate with that you've probably been on a roller coaster ride where you go round the loop and as you come down you feel really heavy and as you go as you go up again you start to feel lighter or in a car going over the brow of a hill as you go over the brow of the hill you feel slightly weightless you feel light and that is how to evaluate the forces in a vertical circle. 